All right, here it is guys. I'll do you guys a favor because it seems to be the subject that everybody wants to talk about. I've been playing online and everybody's talking about that. How to get legendary and how to farm money. And as you can see, I've got my full sets of Bucks Magnet to earn 15% more. Everything is on rich and lucky. That way I can get 21% rich, plus a 15% bonus, plus 178.5% lucky. So that makes me walk. That makes me earn parts faster. And just so we're clear, it works with everything. You can see I have my car that's focused on doing feats. It's a Corvette because I'm busy doing the donut achievements or whatever you want to call them, the challenge. I got my full chemistry set as well. It's a uh, Getting legendary and farming money is not that hard. I think any race is pretty much the same, but the consensus seems to be kiss me comedy. So I'll show you how it's done. So the game is in difficulty four right now. I can easily do five, but I want to make sure that I place in the first, in the three, first spot. Otherwise, it's I'm not gonna get the money and I, I don't want to waste any sessions. So I'll show you, I'll show you how much money it gives. I'll show you, I'll, pro I'll probably get a legendary right away. I get them very often. I'll stop talking because I'll put this part in the top forward. So as you can tell, I got the 51% bonus. I got the legendary part right away. It's, this is truly the way to go. And quite frankly, you guys saw that it took like 20 seconds to see everything that I got. But the real, the real tip I say, and I didn't hear anybody mentioning it, is time in between races. I've been playing online with people and they always take 10, 15, 20 seconds, wait a little bit, wait till you start it again, wait, wait, this and that. Like, it doesn't matter if you do it 10, 10 seconds faster because you're using an Alpha GP or whatever, if you take 30 seconds in between races. So, what I suggest is you do like, I'd say for an hour, we go hard. You just, yeah, you just repeat, 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 repeat as soon as it happens. In between loadings, I'm, spa I'm spamming the button just so it goes faster. And I think that's a real trick because every race is are pretty much the same once you know how to do them quickly. So yeah, I think that's about it. That There you go. So 
you guys you guys saw and basically the main tip is time in between races that's what counts um, there's one more thing I'd like to add before because obviously now I have sets and everything but before you get a set let's say I wanted to make this one blah 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 uh, even if it's a even if it's a purple one a purple part you want to go and switch the affix to make sure that you get the right combination of stats that you want at first i would say lucky and gold finger and max them out like it's not that expensive you'll get more than enough parts yeah to salvage in order to have the supplies you'll get more than enough money this is worth easily putting 500k into a car just to recalibrate the part properly and get what you want out of it but this is gonna make it so much quicker so i would go and make sure that this is maxed out at 15 percent and after this is maxed out and i have a full set of i'd say epic gear purple gear then the next part that comes out that's going to be gold i'm going to switch it up for that no matter what the bonuses is because you need the seven part to get the bonus so as long as as you don't as long as you don't have the seven part they're useless so i would just recalibrate every part until i get exactly what i want that way you know you're optimizing everything so the race doesn't matter I would optimize my part and I would just make sure there you go perfect epic part for loot finding and yeah I would just focus on time in between races that's gonna get you there all right hopefully that helps have a good day